Food prices, believe it or not, are expected to take another jump this winter. And we're all going to be looking for ways to save some money. So one way is to grow some of your own food in a greenhouse, just like Carson is doing. Carson looks so cool. I hear you're feeding a pretty big crowd these days at the garden center. Yeah, it just keeps growing and growing because we also share with our community around us. So yeah, unfortunately, there's a lot of hungry mouths. But we found a way to maybe stretch the growing season this year. It looks so cool. Okay, tell us about this domed greenhouse. Well, a lot of people are actually investing in greenhouses. This is not a new phenomenon, but over the last couple of years, more and more people are getting excited about it. So I started doing my research and I made a choice to go with this geodesic dome. Now, this one's from a company called Arctic Acres, which is a Canadian company, but it is the geodes that they are using north of the tree line. So all the way up in northern Canada, this is what you're finding. You're using polycarbonate. Now, polycarbonate are the thick plastic walls, and you're seeing more home greenhouses using the exact same system. These polycarbonate walls actually create a little air pocket in the middle. So they stay warmer longer, but at the same time, they let the sun shine in so your plants will grow. It keeps your greenhouse warm, but it also adds that little bit of extra insulation. So even at night, it's, it's not so bad in here. Very cool. All right. I love that people are jumping onto this trend. It's a beautiful trend if you're growing food. What can you grow in there? Well, as you can see, I've got a couple of garden beds here already tarped out. I'm giving them a bit of a break. I'm giving them a time out, so to speak, and I'm about to plant this garden bed. Now, in here, I'm going to be filling it with herbs. I've got some chives, some thyme, some parsley. That's going to fill this whole bed. And then in about January, I'm going to fill this one with kale, this one with spinach, and I'm going to start some more of the colder weather vegetables, even some beets in here. That means I'll be able to harvest produce in January, February, and March, even before anybody else's gardens even get started. I've even got citrus trees growing in here. I've got a little baby lime tree, a grapefruit, an orange tree. I will have fresh fruit in my little geodesic dome for cocktails at New Year's Eve. <laughs> That's so cool and I love the priorities here. The fruit is for the cocktails. Um, tell me <laughs> how does it stay warm without the sun? How do you like how do you do how does that work? Yeah, on cloudy days like today, obviously it's not heating up because there's no sun happening. But what you do have is a pond. Now it seems a little odd, but this pond is actually my heat source. What happens is this heats up in the summer sun. So during the day, even in the winter when it's sunny in here, the pond heats up. And then at night, the ambient temperature is released from the pond into the air around us. Now if you've got a home greenhouse, obviously installing a pond isn't probably going to work for you. But you can do the exact same thing with barrels, even your rain barrel. Bring your rain barrels in from these troughs from around the house, bring them into your greenhouse and fill them with water. They will fill up, they will heat up during the day and at night they will release all that warmth back into the greenhouse. So basically it's going to cost you very little to actually have a sustainable space. Okay, so now what happens uh, to this greenhouse in the summer months? Like, is, is it on fire? Like, what, how, how hot does it get? <laughs> yeah. That's when we grow our chili peppers. No, uh, <laughs> this particular greenhouse has a venting system. You're right, Tracy. It gets really hot in greenhouses, and it's actually a problem for people. So this one has a venting system. So there's actually vents at the top, which open up. They're on a little thermometer that, you know, opens when the temperature's at a certain amount. But there's also side ones that you can actually get for your own home greenhouses. So whether it's venting panels or windows that open up, you can use these spaces 365 days of the year. Just get a little creative about making sure you are taking care of the summer heat and a way to trap the winter heat in, like the polycarbonate that I mentioned earlier. Okay, so I'm imagining uh, most of the folks that are building a greenhouse at home, it's probably not as big as yours. Like, how big is that area right there <laughs> that you're standing in? So this is a 25 foot diameter and this is one of the biggest options available and again because I'm feeding the community I wanted to go big. But for the average homeowner six to eight feet wide by about five feet is perfect. You can actually feed your family. You can incorporate some little electricity in there if you want some grow lights. You can actually make it work for you. You don't have to go huge. But when it comes to backyard spaces greenhouses are actually one of those things that real estate agents are now saying customers are looking for. They like the idea. So you could put this in for your property and actually increase your property's value when you go to sell. Or because they're dismantable or dismountable, 
You know what I mean. You can take yeah. them apart. You can actually take it to your next house and use it there too. That totally makes sense. Okay, you know how big my backyard is because you did my backyard. Is there actually, like, could we have a greenhouse the size of our shed? Like, is that doable? Yeah, absolutely. Huh. Absolutely. And Tracy, if, if, for your backyard, I'd put it on the one side that gets the most amount of sun mm -hmm. between you and your neighbor because then it also becomes a bit of a privacy screen, right? Yes. A little bit of a peaked roof. It's nice and high. We can hide your neighbors. It's a win-win. <laughs> he knows what I'm dealing with. He's seen what's going on in my backyard. Love seeing what this guy is up to and how we can uh, follow.